This is my response to the blog editor at biologyonline.org. When I first received an email from you, I believe many months ago, I thought it was spam. I didn't recognize your organization. And in fact, I'd never heard of you until you sent that email. And that makes a difference. If I've never heard of you and none of my colleagues in science or science blogging that I interact with routinely have heard of you, that makes a difference in whether I choose to work with you or not, particularly with my busy schedule these days as a postdoc. When I decided to inquire more, just to understand what you were expecting and what I should expect, I was really surprised. First, that you don't compensate people who you expect to contribute to your organization monthly. And then when I politely declined, I was really taken aback that you responded so rudely as if I dared not to participate. Let me make this clear, not just to you, but to any of those scholars or professional scientists out there who are being asked to contribute to an organization. You need to do so on your own terms. If financial compensation is important to you, don't budge on that. If other types of compensa compensation are important, whether it be visibility and increase in followers, you make sure you understand how participating in those things will contribute to that bottom line. First of all, Bi biology online, you have over 1.6 million viewers, according to you. But that doesn't mean that those viewers will necessarily see any particular post that I will write. Moreover, I don't appreciate you treating me as if I'm somebody off the street. I already write for a blog community that gets as many hits a month. And I know personally that not all those people who come to the entire site will necessarily come to mine. So offering me that as some sort of benefit was, you know, like, you know, emptiness. And I recognize that. So what? First thing, I peep game. I know how this works. And to insinuate that I'm a whore because I inquired about compensation, and you're the one who made the assumption that I said no because of compensation. I just simply said no. I could have said no because of the frequency or the expectation. All of that matters. You know what? It doesn't matter. I don't owe you an explanation, and you're not obligated to be nice to me, but I do need you to recognize that, you know, how you behave matters. It matters. Not just to me, but it matters to a lot of people because it sets the tone. So first things first, don't come to me like you're doing me some favor by offering me an opportunity that I didn't ask for. Offer me an opportunity to get exposure on a no-name, nobody-knows-about-science blog. Who are you? What's your organization? You know what? Get your skills up, first and foremost. Then maybe you can go and talk to somebody else. And recognize that folks are professional. Not just in how you interact with them, but their time and their energy is worth something. And that's the really important part. I want scholars out there, particularly if you come from these backgrounds that are traditionally underrepresented, it's important that you recognize your professionalism and your worth and be compensated in some sort of way that's commensurate for you. And then you can negotiate more and more and more. Nobody else is going to look out for you but you. You're your first line of negotiation, and that's important. And it doesn't escape my notion, and it certainly shouldn't escape anyone else's, that for far too long, the presumption has been if you're a woman or a person of color or from a lower socioeconomic status, that folks think that they can get you, your talent, your expertise, and your energy for free. That's not available. And so I hope you know that from now on. Y'all have a good day.